right. Oh, um, all right. So a, a week ago, we were talking about pinball LED replacements, and I came up with this circuit. This is the circuit that I put together that you would you would plug directly into the row column scan in between where the light bulb would go. When you turn it, when the row column scan turns on a light bulb, the current would flow through this diode, charge up this large capacitor, which would be tanking up this this voltage and storing it for times that the row column scan is not on. Here we have a Darlington pair, which I just built them out of 2N3904 NPN transistors. This is a high gain circuit that doesn't take very much um, current to turn on a, a voltage path through this LED. We have a current limiting resistor here so we don't burn out the LED. And then I have an RC time constant here so when you when the circuit is turned on voltage would flow through this resistor and slowly charge up this capacitor which would slowly turn on the LED when the voltage is removed now this capacitor has stored up a small charge which is keeping the LED on for a, a moment and this bleed resistor this 4k here slowly bleeds it down so the LED turns on slow and turns off slow um, this circuit required that I use very large capacitors because the circuit wasn't very efficient. So I replaced the bipolar transistors with a MOSFET, which has a very high imp impedance gate. So this, the, the MOSFET, the end channel goes in place of the bipolar. There's very little current flow through the RC circuit, so the RC circuit can be much smaller. And switch cameras and show you the result in my Twilight Zone pinball here. So I want to show, here's regular LEDs inside these turbo pop bumpers. They're turning on and off pretty much instantly. And if you were, you probably won't show up on the camera, but if you're here you can s move your eyes back and forth and they flicker really badly. And it's really bad when the ball is rolling past the, the LEDs. Now here we have three bulbs. One of them is the LED replacement. If you look at these, they all have about the same velocity. The one that's actually the replacement is this bulb right here. You can see that it has a slow turn on and a slow turn off and it closely mimics the actual light bulb um, blinking.